What's up, guys? Welcome woo, to Tailboard Talk. In this episode, we're going to be talking about uh, a very fundamental principle of strength and conditioning, and that is the said principle, right? We talked about. Remember, we talked about this. The said principle, yeah. And said principle stands for specific adaptations to imposed demands. And what that means is, whatever you demand, your body does. It will adapt to that stress, okay? So we can think about this in kind of both of the far-reaching extremes. Let's think of the marathon runner versus the either bodybuilder or uh, uh, strong man, so the world's strongest man athlete. I know those are two completely different things, but you get the visual representation of that. So one person has trained their body to run long distances. They've imposed demands on their system over a long period of time, and their body's adapted to fit that need. And same thing with the other end of the spectrum, with the, the power athlete, the uh, bodybuilder, or the strongman. They've imposed demands on their body over a long period of time, and their body's adapted to better meet those demands. All right, so that's the positive way in which it works. But one thing we forget, or we're just completely unaware of, which is totally cool until now, is that those adaptations are not always positive, okay? You may demand, you may demand of your back that you lift with a rounded bad posture time and time again, and the adaptation of that will be a back injury. Mm. Or you may squat down or jump or run with a valgus knee collapse, which means your knee goes to the inside, kind of drops in out of alignment. You may demand your knee to run that way for a long, long time, and it will adapt by shredding itself, by just kind of degrading itself. All your ligaments in there will go, get pulled the wrong direction. So your adaptation is negative. You're going to complete it, you're demanding it gets done, your body will comply until it can't comply anymore, and then your adaptation is negative. So keep that in mind. A lot of times when we go do workouts or enter a program, we just assume that uh, this is going to be a positive thing. I'm going to build muscle, I'm going to lose fat, I'm going to get better, and that could be completely true, but if it's an inappropriate program or just a not well thought out one, or you don't have the coaching there to kind of help you stay away from those dangerous postures or position, positions, then you may be imposing demands on your body and the ad only adaptation it can come up with is an eventual injury, okay? So, very fundamental guideline of strength and conditioning, the said principle, uh, but just something to keep in mind. What are you demanding your body does time and time again and is the adaptation that gonna be positive or negative? Hmm, something to think about, right? 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 Probably, okay. All right, guys, so for me, and Nathan, the snuggle is real. Be a four shifter.